Okay, I've done a sketch, a very loose sketch, and now I'm going to start painting. And to be honest, I'm not sure where I'm going to start. Uh, probably with the river. So I've got a bit of a dirty palette. Um, that river has quite a dark look. I wouldn't quite know how to describe it, to be honest. So I guess I'm going to do a kind of purpley, bluey colour. So I'm going to use cerulean, a touch of red. And I'm glad this is a sketch. I really recommend that you do more sketches because, because sometimes, especially with difficult subjects, if you do a quick sketch, it really helps you to paint not only a good picture, but also, um, I don't know, it helps you paint in a better way. Um, maybe it makes you focus on the main things or I don't know what it is, but it really is a good way to paint to do sketches and then if you want to do a really pretty picture do it after you've done your sketch um, even after 20 years it's still like that for me after 20 years so do sketches that's my that's my opinion so I got a bit of sparkle there but not a lot I need my rag take some water off this brush okay that's a bit better but it's still not quite the dry brush I wanted okay that will do though so I should leave that to dry around there and then I'll do the bank in a minute okay so um, the distant mount mountain is going to maybe be, I was going to do a gap there in the mountain, but I think now nah, I won't do that. So of course it's a kind of greeny color, but so I'm going to do a kind of cerulean blue with a touch of something like burnt sienna. But I want the blue to really show through a lot. So there we go. And then as I come down, I'm going to thicken it up and make it browner. All right, some of the pigments on my palette moved. Okay, get some brown. It's a really interesting um, today because although it's like uh, October and winter is coming, I'll uh, just spray this. It's actually, the sun is really beating down quite intensely and it really does feel hot. Uh, might have to even take my top off. So, um, that, that's too intense, but I'll water it down. I hope you're not catching this wind too much. I'm wearing the earphone things on from my cell phone today, and I'm hoping that it will kill the wind. Wind is a big problem when you're painting, and uh, suddenly the wind picked up. Okay, so that's too green but there there you go and and I'm going to go over the top with some blue so when you start to go wrong if you can't correct it just go a bit crazy and play with it so I'm I'm just gonna add a load of blue up here because I want this to have that kind of bluish colour because it's it's far away. And so things that are far away are bluey. So I'm going to fight with it and try and make it bluer. Okay, there we go. That's not too bad. 
And then for these buildings in the front, wow, that wind. <sighs> now for things in front, I'm going to do like a brown. A dark brown. This brush isn't really giving me the kind of strokes I want, to be honest. And this is where you, you start to think in an abstract way, like, how, how is it looking visually? Is it looking interesting? So this is not too bad, but it could be a bit better. Yeah, I think one of the reasons why sketching works well is because you simplify everything. And because you simplify everything, it ends up looking more powerful and not so fussy. It really makes a big difference. Okay, so I've got a bit of light yellow here. And oh, it's drying out super quick because of that sun. That should be a glowing roof there. I can always add that later. So because it's drying out, it is bluish though. I need to spray it a lot. Okay. But it's so nice to be out here. Okay, looking pretty good. Yeah, maybe that's okay. I've got my sunglasses on. It does tint things and that doesn't help, but it's so bright need to do it sometimes okay yeah I think this is maybe too too light but it might fade a bit as it dries so and maybe it needs a bit of a darker touch so phthalo blue alizarin crimson And let's try and darken it up a bit. Wow, I cannot believe how intense the sunshine is. I should have worn my sandals. That sun is, is burning me. Okay, and this is dry. So that's a good thing. This, we don't have to wait a long time for drying. Okay, that will do. Okay, so first of all, I'm just going to put down for this bank some kind of light green colour. Yeah, the important thing about watercolour painting is you really have to not care too much, not be too careful, let things happen. And when it seems to go wrong, kind of don't worry about it or just go a bit crazy and play with it. Watercolour, just it's a, it's a medium that likes boldness. The more bold you are, the more simple and that you are, the more it just, it works. Look at that. That looks quite nice. 
but it's quite simple. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm just going to spray it, kind of add some texture. Yeah, there's a lovely feeling as I look at that. So next thing is the green here. So I don't want to go too much into the water. And I'm trying to create some variety here. So I'm using sometimes a bit of yellow ochre, pure yellow ochre. Then sometimes mix it with a bit of cerulean blue. Don't want to get fussy, but at the same time, you want to create variety. And then sometimes just water down. And then use a bit of pure yellow. I'm not sure what this is, Aeolian or there's another one that's got a really long name beginning with I and I cannot pronounce it. Emizodalone or some it's it's unbelievable. Who who names these things? Okay, that's not too bad. Might be a bit boring. Maybe not enough variety. We will see. Yeah. Okay, so now let's focus on seeing whether this is dark, I mean dry. And then I think it is. So I'm going to do my shadows over here. And once again, important not to overdo it. Try to keep it simple. Leave lots of lovely green space. One of the problems I'm having is that it's just drying super quick. So I'm going to spray this and down here to add some texture. Spray bottle is so important. Oh, maybe my time is like really long. Okay, yeah, about 30 minutes. Let's pause 